What's up, Thymic Keepers? Me, Tom Gunner here, and today I'll be playing What Remains of Edith, Edith Finch, which is a free game right now on the Epic Store on the PC, which is a game I've been wanting to play for a while. So this is a sort of story-driven, if I remember, type of game. There's no, there's no action. It's more of a puzzle, uh, narrative-driven, walking simulator. Sorry, I hit the mic. Sort of a walking simulator type game. So we'll get into it. This is going to be probably a multiple-part video. Uh, multiple part videos. Oh, Edith Finch. Oh, okay. There we go. So let's get right into it, I guess. Edith Finch. Oh. A lot of right. this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. Oh, okay. Okay, the run button is a uh, zoom button. Okay, and the I right. I until I was eleven, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. That's a weird-looking house. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. <laughs> All right. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. So far, this is a cool. I like the way they're doing the narrative. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Probably the door. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Hmm. All right. Let's keep going down this dark path. That's a one weird looking house. No one had driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, clearly nobody's driving here because there's no path. Oh, there's the deer. All right, nice and serene. Oh, we're coming to a... Uh... The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. All right. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. This is going to be a weird story. Oh, my the God. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Why is this house so many levels? All right, let's go. Uh, I guess let's go towards the garage portion. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. You came here alone as a 17 years house. old? I guess we're not going that way. Oh, felt like okay. it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. <laughs> There's a statue over there that might be interesting later. Okay, I guess that's where I'm going. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Okay. So far, so good. For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. Okay. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. 
Edith E.D. Don Lewis. Okay. In loving memory, Lewis Finch. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. A water pitcher. Oh. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. <laughs> Ooh, warm apple pie. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we <laughs> had Chinese a lot. All right. Okay, so let's go over here. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Okay. So I'm looking for white dots. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Okay. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it. Like a smile with too many teeth. <laughs> Alright, that makes sense. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house. After it sank. After it sank, what, like a boat? Something tells me this place is going to have a lot of story to it. Now there's this door, but let's uh, look around. Oh, that's cool. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara. Along with the rest of the house. Oh. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. What happened on the last night? My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Hmm. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. That's weird. Let's back away from here since I can't even go in there yet. Or maybe never. Oh, there's an upstairs. That's back in the kitchen. Right, maybe a good idea to go in Mom the Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Okay, makes sense. So far, everything's going according to plan. Can I take Grandma Eddie's ch Edie's chair? No. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Okay. Let's go over here then. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. God damn it, Mom. You keep locking everything. Barbara. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. That's weird that it has the fucking... It's so weird. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. It's going to be a cool little game, I feel. It's going to be a lot of story, like, why does houses like this, probably. Gregory. Nah, one year old. As a old. kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Oh, he died It was only one year old. Calvin. He was 11 years old. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Okay, that's kind of weird. So far, this game is very intriguing. Oh. 
Molly, 10 years old. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with, if she hadn't died in 1947. Why do I, why do they all die so young? Oh, okay. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Yeah, I think man. my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. That's weird. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Of course, there's a lock on a book. Oh! Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Okay, okay. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Sweet. Time to get into needy gritty. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Is he here Reading somewhere? This, maybe it sounds like I had a plan, but I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. All right. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. It's so weird that every room has a peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. That's funny. Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. My Halloween candy was all gone. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. All right. I kept eating and eating. Ew. I ate a lot of things that night. I don't even know those if those were edible. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Then I knew I was gonna have a have a hard I was gonna have a hardcore meal. Oh. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. You're safe for another day, Christopher. No, oh, back away. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. Oh, okay. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. What is it? Name of Christ is going on. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me.
Alright, alright. I'm gonna get you, bird. I jumped and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. What am I looking for here? I don't know what's going on here. Sorry, I haven't been talking a lot, but I don't know, like... Rabbits! What's going on? Man, these rabbits are going to be hard to grab. Got him. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. And then I flew off to find something bigger. Alright. What am I looking for here? A mama rabbit. Got him. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. But suddenly, I was a shark. Not much I can do as a shark here. Alrighty. Let's go, shark. I rolled off the cliff and into the ocean. Thank God. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Let's grab it. Juicy seals. Good doink. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. She grabbed on tight. And I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Uh, what? What in the there name? There was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Alright. It was big, but I moved real quiet. Yes, All righty. Yo ho, Silver, go away. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Oh, a drunk sailor. You're dead, buddy. 
This is a weird story so far. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So All right. I swam towards it. I slithered onto the sand. And the good smell went into an old pipe. All right. <laughs> it's very dark. Going. I have to look at my recording because my recording is like it looks like brighter than my uh, it looks brighter than my gaming screen like right now it's like completely dark on one end now I got it now I got it I got closer and closer wait this is Molly's room isn't it go up the bed here or all of my stomach started growling and all suddenly right. sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Well, I got a lot of people to look into. All right. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Let's see at the window here. Okay, well, I, I, I'm gonna go back in the room, make sure, like... Can I not go back? Well, I'm not going back. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. We got along and it was a good place to hide from my mom. Okay. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Louis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Her room was like a museum. Pills, tank. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Built 1937, Sven Finch. One summer they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Hmm. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Hmm. 
even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. All the only right. trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. All right, so I guess we're going to have to do the story part of this. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. <laughs> but 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Okay. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. That's a cool little thing. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. No kidding. Alright, I think I'm going to leave it there for now for uh, the old what what remains of Edith Finch. I think it's a it's going to be a cool little story because it seems to be like there there is a lot of misfortune in this family. So we'll have to keep exploring in the next part. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below if you tried the game, what you thought of the first part of uh, well, this video. And of course, uh, go follow me everywhere, me, Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram. And right here on YouTube where I post new videos weekly right here on the channel. Well, thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you next video. Keep on keeping on.